I know only love. This is my passion. An echo of timelessness. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to play Jin. Um, it is a unique ADC in that he's able to auto attack four times and then he has to reload before he can auto attack again. So he has fixed auto attacks and when you build crit and attack speed, it will give him bonus AD. You're not able to increase his attack speed through items. The only way it can be increased is when he levels up. Um, so you want to be starting with your Q, your grenades, um, basically it will bounce to targets and if it executes targets on the way then the damage will be increased uh, to the next target. And every fourth auto attack guys is going to deal bonus damage, it's a guaranteed crit and it will deal bonus damage based on their missing health. So if you hit a low HP target with that fourth auto attack, then it is going to hurt for a lot of damage. So in the landing phase, normally you try to zone people off when you have that fourth auto attack ready because they know that you have that extra damage. So you try to zone them off and if they walk within range, then you hit them with that auto attack and if possible you get that Q off first. Since 4th auto attack is uh, increased damage based on missing, he missing health, then you want to get all the bonus damage off you can before you use that auto attack. Your W is a long range skill shot that I recommend that you smart cast or quick cast. That's a lot faster to use and if you or an ally damage that enemy champion, then there will be that mark around them. And if you hit them with that W, then they're going to be CC'd. But they will not be able to move. So it gives Jin some long range uh, catch potential. Your E, um, so those are your traps, you can place them on the ground and they will be invisible so when somebody steps on them they will be slowed for short duration and then that trap will pop dealing bonus magic damage. And the passive also makes it so when you get a takedown then the enemy champion will also spawn a trap on the dead body. Now since Jin um, gets increased AD when you build attack speed and crit, he's able to reach insanely high AD numbers. So his late game will be really strong but he's not good in extended fights because of his reload animation, he's good in short trades where he can burst people and then back off, wait for a short duration and then get back in. So you lane against someone like a Wayne, you will get absolutely destroyed in the extended fights. You want to go for those short trades where you can burst them down. Especially with that fourth auto attack animation and then you just back off because you have to reload so you're not able to attack for a short duration. I could miss your performance. So the way you want to place the traps guys, you can place them 
Those two brushes, so in case the enemy jungler tries to gank you, then he will be slowed when once he steps on them. That gives you some extra time to escape. Or you can also place them in the bottom lane, so when the ADC steps on them, then of course your Dobby will also root if they step on the trap. They will also get the mark from that, so you can also use that for a surprise engage. And you're looking to get at least your core items before you really go for those kills on Jen. Uh, but if you have a really good support with you, that synergizes really well. So he works great with mages, you know, something like a Serath, because they both have really long range, so they can assist each other in getting those uh, picks off, because Serath has long range slows and stun. And then you can pair that up with your W and your ultimate. So you can pretty much assassinate somebody from long range. You can place the, place the traps like I did right here. So that's some high speed enemy jungler. You know, if there's someone like a Rhymus, then it's going to help a lot because it will slow him down temporarily so you can maybe escape his ganks. Just try to zone off the enemy ADC, especially when that last auto attack is coming up because that one really hurts a lot and it's going to get a lot better as you get more items and more AD. So Senna is actually a pretty good Champion you can play with Jin. Um, because she also has slows, um, so it's easier for you to hit your W and then follow up with the rest of your damage, and you both scale incredibly well. But for protection as well, then a Leone or a Nautilus is a lot stronger because they have much better engage and they're also able to peel for you. So you can pair this champion up with a lot of different uh, combinations. I do prefer to have a Leona or a Nautilus though. Because you have somebody who can engage for you and also someone who can CC someone who's trying to engage onto you. Like for example Assassins. A lot of people like to get the boots first but I want at least the component, so I still have some damage, and then we can rush uh, or upgrade the boots. That gives you extra movement speed, very important because Jin is immobile. He has zero mobility in his kit, so getting that mobility means that you'll be much better at dodging abilities and ganks as well. When you use that Q grenade guys, try to make it bound so it deals increased damage and your ultimate is used for long range engages or when you see somebody low HP trying to escape, that's when you want to use it. It also gives you 4 shots with that ultimate with the last one being a guaranteed crit. Now we can go ahead and use it, there we go, got Ash. And got the support as well, so this is how you want to use it. Somebody's low HP and they're trying to run away. Use that ultimate to shut them down. And we also have that center ultimate coming in for that third kill, so... That's pretty much how you want to use it, guys. And the thing is, this ultimate slows. So, in teamfights, for example, you don't only have to use it... To get kills with, but you can also use it to... Throw someone down so your team can catch them. 
Because this ultimate is very hard to escape from as long as you hit one cast of it, because then they will be slowed, so it's easier to hit them with the remaining casts. And once we get that mythic item, the Gale Force, then we have even more damage in our kit and we also have mobility, which is something that Jin really really likes. It gives him that extra dash, so if he gets caught out or needs to dodge something, then you have that, but it also gives you that extra damage, so you can use that right before your last auto attack for even more burst damage. Like when you have your fourth order attack ready guys then um, use that active then use your Q and then use that order attack at the end. So you kind of maximize your damage output. Still have to watch out a little bit though right now because Ash is level 6, she has ultimate up and they have really good Shut down potential with the Rel and Ash combo, so also need to respect that even though we have a massive lead because this champion is immobile, so it's very easy to catch him out. But as you can see, as you have more points into a queue, then it becomes out way clear pretty much. If needed, you can also use your E to wave clear if you need to push out that wave really fast. Otherwise, it's really good for denying ganks and engages onto you. There we go. And that Dark Harvest is getting stacked up, so that's going to give us so much burst damage later on. This rune is pretty much useless in the early game. So if you want a rune that helps you a lot more in the early game, then it's fleet footwork, but this one is a scaling rune. So you pick this if you want a lot stronger late game, and that ash is also down, that's why it is so annoying to play against two champions with super high range. Because they can just poke you outside of your auto attack range and you can't do anything about it unless your support can get a really good engage off. Also keep in mind that I'm not using my Gale Force active unless I really have to because the cooldown is pretty high. We are very vulnerable during the time it's on cooldown so don't use it unless you really really have to, unless you can pick off a kill or you can dodge a crucial skill shot. The dar is coming in. Oh that's a really nice play by Katarina and also good way clear. Good teleport, the other one was pretty, um, was not very useful, but this one was actually really good, cause now got that triple in the bottom, so we are snowballing the game here, and we almost have enough gold for the second core item, the collector. Um, the Thalde is really good in the early game, especially if you play against the squishy team, and that's what we are against right now, we have Ash. We're also playing against Assassin Kane. Oh, that's a nice W into Senna Salt combo. That's so satisfying once you hit those uh, skill shots. When you do use that ultimate guys then make sure that 
you back off a little bit because if you stay close to the enemy champion and use it then they can just engage on top of you. And got the kill on Syra as well so this ultimate is very good for executing targets. But yeah, make sure that you keep your distance once you use that ultimate. Make sure there's nobody flanking like an assassin waiting to engage on top of you. Because you are super vulnerable during your ultimate cast animation. So you need to make sure it's safe before you use it. So in a fight you want to move back a bit. And then you can use it when you are absolutely certain that nobody can engage. And as I mentioned earlier on, you can also use it to uh, engage a fight. The target does not have to be low HP before you use it, but if you see... I never hurt anyone. It is the performance that counts. Um, if you see... A squishy ADC or someone else overextended then you can pop that ultimate slow them down with those four shots and then hopefully your teammates can catch up so it's a good way to engage and maybe blow up some summoners or even get a kill In the mid game you just want to stay mid if possible, um, you have zero mobility except for that item access so you just want to stay mid because it is the safest for you once the towers are down. Then you let your mid laner go bot to the sidelines. But we have enough gold for e collector so we definitely want to recall soon. Kinda sucks a bit, got caught out by that uh, hook, I thought I was out of range but yeah bruisers also have that gap closing item. If you look at how I use that ultimate I make sure that I step back a bit so Kane or someone else would not be able to you see me because they can cancel that ultimate so just make sure that you step back and then you can use it My once we do get the second item though that's where this champion really starts to hurt a lot we get insane amount of dps we almost have 350 ad and we haven't even completed that second item yet. There we go, we got two items of our first recall because we did not recall early on. So we're sitting at 480 right now. Of course, attack speed does not help with your auto attack uh, speed, but it gives you more AD. So that's why you're able to reach such high AD numbers compared to pretty much every other AD carry. And that W is going to one shot of course. It is going to proc the Dark Harvest and we're sitting at 18 stacks at the moment. Now what's really good about that rapid fire cannon is the fact that you get one auto attack with that extra range. So if you have that fourth auto attack ready then you can pop that guild force to get even higher auto attack range and then you hit them and it's going to nuke them if it's a squishy. 
Oh, I extended a little bit and ended up dying. But yeah, if you can use that rapid fire with the guild force into that fourth order attack, then Jin can also be really good at poking down people before the fight starts. Inhibitor is down though, and it's fine to take it now because the Baron spawned, so we are actually able to get something out of it. Just make sure that you don't get it too early on. Because if you can't use that inhibitor to get other objectives, then you're just giving the opponents free farm and XP. I should take that rip off. It's OP on a fit 80 carry. can chase down Darius here. This is how I use that Gale Force. So we got his item active out and then we can just auto attack him to death. We have insane CC potential with my red buff auto attacks and Senna souls as well. So you catch somebody, there's a very low chance that they are actually going to escape. Remember, you're still an ADC though, but you have the long range advantage, so you're able to go for fix yourself with that ultimate and your W, but you still want to stay in the backline, and then you hit whoever is closest to you. Try to pair up your CC with your allies so you can get that long range CC with your W, and maybe even follow up with your ultimate if necessary. I'm gonna break open the top side tower. Ash is out of mana, but Darius is coming from the side, so that's why we are stepping back a bit because I don't have my summoners up. Flash is almost up. That's a really nice heal coming in by Senna. I think I would have died otherwise, so that's great. And we got that kill with the ultimate as well, stacking up those Dark Harvest. Going to hit like a nuke in the late game once you get really high AD numbers and the Dark Harvest as well. But that was the Jin video, I hope this was helpful, as always see you guys in the next one.